Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, but a very important skill. Okay, remember this, Celsius times 1.8 plus 32 It's going to give you the Fahrenheit. If you follow this formula, you'll get it right every single time. So let's take uh, four different numbers in Celsius and easily convert them into Fahrenheit. Let's start with 30 degrees Celsius. 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. First, 30 times 1.8. Do a, do a quick uh, multiplication problem. 0 over 24. Okay, 0, 0, 3, that's going to give you 540, 54.0, now you do the second step, 54 plus 32, this is going to give you 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's as simple as that, okay, let's, uh, let's drop 10 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius, okay, step one, 20 times 1.8, 16, 0, 2, it's going to give you 360, 36.0, 36.0 plus 32 is going to give you 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so 68 degrees Fahrenheit, that's just short of room temperature. So that means that 20 degrees Celsius as well is just short of room temperature. So you can see that's a pretty high number. 30 degrees Celsius is quite hot. Let's take, uh, let's take two cold temperatures. How about negative 5? Negative 5 degrees Celsius. Now, a cool thing about Celsius is that when you're talking about Celsius, if you're under zero degrees Celsius, you know you're talking about freezing. So it's going to be less than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, um, zero degrees, just like 32 degrees, represents the threshold between melting and freezing. Just like 100 degrees Celsius represents the the boiling point. Okay, so uh, let's do same thing. 1.8. So remember, we're dealing with a negative number now. 1.8 times 5 is going to give you 49, 99.0, plus 32, negative 9.0 plus 32 is going to give you 23 degrees Fahrenheit. That's quite cold. Let's go even low. About uh, negative 10 degrees Celsius. Negative 10 degrees Celsius, same thing. 10 times 1.8. 0, 8, 0, 1, 180, 18.0, 18.0, negative 18.0. Plus 32, that's going to give you 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can do this easily. You can pick any number in Celsius and do a direct conversion right into Fahrenheit. Now there's a different formula for going from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and we'll talk about that in a later video. But for right now, this rule always applies. Plug in Celsius, multiply by 1.8. Add 32, always add 32 last because of order of operations. And then that's always going to give you Fahrenheit. Okay? Easy as that, guys. Thanks.